Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Moses and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you how to pan correctly in Logic Pro. Uh, I noticed that a lot of people pan very incorrectly, uh, especially with the stereo pan. Uh, when you have a stereo material, people just pan using anything they see and they don't get the best result. As a matter of fact, I would say you are not maximizing your panning. And in today's video, I just want to show you how to do that. It's going to be a very quick one. So let's start with an example of a couple of loops here just to demonstrate stereo loops. To be precise so let's say we take this bead let's just stop drop it here uh, and then we take a couple of other percussion I'm gonna use uh, the loop function here just to loop it and let's take this one it doesn't matter uh, I'm just gonna take anything right now we can see that all these are all stereo loops uh but you can also use a mono material but i'll show you where i'm going in a second so let's use these three three loops and uh together they probably all sounds like this all right uh, so if we say this beat is going to be our, you know, a focus beat, right? And these are just going to be some percussions to fill it up, uh, the, the maracas and the conga. So typically people would just, you know, take one of these and maybe put it to the left and take one of these, put it to the right. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. right so that's fine the only thing is you're not maximizing the stereo information that you have here and the stereo information that you have here and uh when you want to do that if you right click on the pan on any of these just go to stereo pan uh you pan everything what is this doing is it's taking all of the information in this audio and putting everything all together into the right side so you have a left side here uh if you can see that you have a left side and you have a right side if you pan to the if you use the regular balance pan what you're saying is i want to hear more of the right source i don't want to hear the left and you you keep if you keep going all the way to the left uh to the right rather you will not hear anything going on here now you think you're hearing the conga but what you're hearing is the left side of this recording the same thing we apply to this okay and i'm going to demonstrate that to you so now let's go to stereo pan for this and we go to stereo pan for this now for this example i will just pan all the way so that you can hear what we're trying to do panning all the way to the right and to the left it sounds like this okay cool now we have an audio uh we have a loop right it do doesn't matter how it sounds like right now this is just an example now let's say i take this loop for example and i bounce all of them together into a stereo right right click uh on all of them i select all of them right right click on it and say uh bound in place okay we bounce all of them in place and we just say loop okay mute include volume and pan automation make sure over uh, normalize is off uh mute everything on bypass effect if you have effect, effect uh and make sure everything is going to a new track okay i'm muting everything and now we got our loop everything all together is sounding like this the same way this was sounding before now this is where the trick comes in now let's say i want to use this loop in a particular production and this loop now i feel like you know what because there's so many other things going on i want to pan the loop maybe to a certain position let's say i want to just pan it to the right okay and let's say we just bring it down a little bit. Okay. 
Now, notice, if I put it at the middle, okay, what do you hear? You hear everything. You hear the maracas coming from the left and you hear the conga coming from the right and you hear your loop, right? Uh, you hear the original beats inside. Okay, we hear that. Now, if I take this pan and I take it all the way to the left, remember your conga is at the right side. This is what happens. I don't hear the conga anymore. If I take this and put it all the way to the right, I don't hear the maracas anymore, right? No conga. No maracas. No conga. No maracas. If I want to hear everything, you got to go to the stereo pan. Okay, go to stereo pan. You hear both the maracas and the conga. You want to take it all the way to the right or to the, to the left rather. You hear everything. Uh, I hope that makes sense. So this is how to pan correctly if you have a stereo information, anything that is recorded in stereo and you're trying to pan it. If you don't want to lose any information from your stereo source, use the stereo pan, not the balance. Okay. Use the stereo pan to pan everything and move everything to wherever you want to move it to. I hope uh, you found this video helpful. Uh, thank you for tuning in and make sure you subscribe to the channel. More of these quick tips coming. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Like, share, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions for me. Cheers. Bye.